internet's what's up this is rod from techguysmartby.com today we're talking about my phone more specifically what's on my phone so this is one of the two phones i keep on me most of the time so this is the pixel 4 xl we're going to talk about the apps that i must have it's not many it's only eight i have a bunch of apps on here but we're only going to talk about eight that i must have on my phone so on this one and my iphone this video is actually sponsored by Catalyst. So reached out and they said, oh, we got cases for the Pixel 4 and 4XL, like, send them over. This is their new impact protection case. So you got kind of all around enclosure, you know, of course, cameras exposed, microphones, uh, speakers, you got lanyard support, the buttons, they look flush, but they're actually, you know, rigid. So they're actually, they still, they're easier to, they're easier to access than they appear to be from uh, looking at it. It's a non-slip bumper, proprietary impact rubber, clear back to show off the phone, which is all, which is pretty important because a lot of times you get a phone, the color that you love, and the case is gonna block it. So this kind of exposes that, tested the handle nine foot nine drop. And then all that, and still supports the squeezable active edge. Huge shout out for Catalyst to sending this out. And if you're interested, we'll have a link to this case as well as other cases they have in the description below. Here are the eight apps that I use. There are no particular order or order of importance or anything. The first one is Google Keep. I forget it's now Google Keep Notes. So it's just a, a nice cloud syncing note application. The wife is sending me grocery shopping lists and then book suggestions, audio book suggestions, ideas, thoughts, different things. Uh, next up we have his Buffer. So I use Buffer to handle social media. The free version is 10 posts across three social media platforms. So for me, it's on personal LinkedIn, Tech Guys Facebook page and Twitter. Schedule tweets, posts and different things, uh, add images, hashtags, all that stuff. Grab the image from, from the site URL, regular schedule or set a custom schedule for when you want that to go up. Spotify, so this one's new to me. Google Play Music was my go-to for a very, very long time. So it's cool, you can cast it, shareable playlists, which is something they never brought to Google Music, I don't know why. For right now, Spotify is my main music and podcast place to play everything. Next up is Google Hangouts. I know it's officially dead. Uh, it's just something that I just got so many people used to doing it. Me and my wife use it as a chat. Uh, a lot of my colleagues, we use it to kind of keep in touch and pretty much on a daily basis. So that's my current group chat and, and you know instant messaging thing that I use. Until they officially kill it off, I'm still using Hangouts and it just works for me. The YouTube Studio app is pretty much kind of a must have for content creators, especially if you're on YouTube. It's a way to kind of you know view analytics and as well as keep up with your comments and talk and you know be able to respond and everything in time and manner. I try to respond to comments on the, the weekend you know, between work and then doing site stuff, try to edit videos, if I could pull out one or two videos a week and then, you know, the work-life balance and all that. So if you're wondering why it takes so long, that's why. The Amazon app, a lot of times I'm using it to check on deals, just to share via buffer, and then as well as just stuff to pick up. Maybe something I could pick up from a son or just a, a, a good sale you can't pass up on. Buy the touch of a button, it's, it's ridiculously easy. It's, Great rabbit hole and a great place to waste or spend money if you're in this deals and stuff. Gmail is my email of choice. They still have Outlook, which I hear is pretty good, but definitely using Gmail for, use that to kind of respond to people on the fly that don't require too much like hyperlinks and different things. Star what I need to respond to, check it out later. Uh, the whole nudge thing like, oh, you've reached out, you haven't heard back, follow up, or, or they reached out, you didn't follow up. Email is just as important as phone, or it's not more so, depending on if you like talking on the phone or not. So, Gmail it is. And last but not least is the new Call of Duty mobile app. Now, I'm more of a console gamer. I'm not really a gamer on the phone, but the way they have Call of Duty mobile set up, I, I must play the thing nightly. You know, you got the usual score streaks, your loadouts, and then you have another thing where you can, you know, flamethrower, chain gun, uh, gravity spikes, different things. So. I like how they kind of integrated kind of the best of the Call of Duty legacy and put it in mobile form and then made it like ridiculously easy to use. They just updated the season two, maybe a few weeks back. Uh, so they have controller support. So you've got a Bluetooth controller, you can, you know, hook this thing up and play and really, really play. Yeah, so there you have it. Like I like apps, but I'm not, 
type of person to sit constantly looking for apps. If something come across my way, I'll check it out. But yeah, let us know what apps you use. Is there some apps that you would recommend for me to use? Sound off in the comments below. We can talk about them. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely give an app a download and try it out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. We appreciate you for doing so. And see you next video. Peace.